I just want to do a recap on the Mueller hearings that went on today. Uh, let's call it as it really is. Uh, Mueller really had nothing to work with. There was really no investigation that uh, could have really been done because the entire premise that the presidential candidate Trump, Donald Trump and his campaign uh, had done absolutely nothing and the actual uh, in, indictment uh, that uh, or charge or allegation that he somehow colluded with uh, Russia was an attempted coup to overthrow uh, a now sitting president of the United States uh, by the prior administration, the Obama administration, and all of his cronies and all of his insiders in Washington that he had appointed over the eight years of his administration. And those are points of fact. That is not any sort of conjecture. That is not any sort of uh, accusation. Those are points of fact. There was an attempted coup to overthrow the duly elected president of the United States. Uh, now, at, at every opportunity, the mainstream media, which is soundly uh, funded by George Soros and uh, other uh, nefarious entities uh, in the uh, world, uh, were also drumming up support in the general population of the United States namely on the East and West Coast amongst the liberals who are confused by anything that uh, uh, the mainstream media says because they are not learned, they are not educated, they are not intellectuals, uh, they aren't uh, politically savvy. So if uh, Trump says the sky is blue and they come back to say, Oh, Trump denies science, you know, they will be susceptible to any and all uh, things said by the mainstream media. Like today, uh, they had a, there was a Mueller report, or there a Mueller uh, hearing on at Congress. Uh, what does CBS News has to say about it? CBS News uh, then uh, contends that, uh, uh, that, uh, that Trump is blasting uh, Mueller as one of the worst performances instead of actually saying that, uh, hey, uh, Mueller had absolutely nothing. Uh, and, oh, and, and, and CBS News uh, says that Mueller said he did not clear Trump of, of any wrongdoing, that uh, it was up to the uh, Attorney General to bring forth charges even after his report said uh, that uh, his investigation was actually leading to the observation that the Democrats, in fact, were colluding with Russia and uh, uh, other governments in the Middle East and so forth and so on, right? And that they gave, um, that those entities gave millions and millions of dollars to the Democrats and the DNC and that the investigation was leading them down that path. This is why the investigation was halted. Because, of course, there was actually nothing to the allegation that the Trump campaign had done anything untoward because the Trump campaign had not done anything. Nothing. People, you cannot collude on something that did not... I'm sorry. You cannot obstruct on something that never occurred. Now, uh, the Trump administration gave, what is it, hundreds of thousands of documents, gave tons of hours to, uh, for all of its administration to be questioned by the investigation, something that the Obama administration completely refused to do when they questioned uh, the uh, Obama administration. So nobody in the actual Obama administration actually gave themselves to anything with Congress. Uh, they tried to subpoena and subpoena and subpoena Obama, and he immediately claimed executive privilege, and nothing was said about it, right? Uh, Trump has been the veritable 
uh, very open, very transparent administration that there ever was. Let's compare him to president. He's a president. Let's compare him to president. He is the most transparent, gave the most testimony, uh, gave the most documents, the most emails, everything to the investigation. And they came up with nothing. And then they figured out, hey, what's really going in was that this entire thing was an attempted coup to overthrow a sitting president of the United States. That's why the Mueller investigation investigation was conclu was concluded. Now, as to the hearing today, how do you go from there? You can't. There's absolutely no. And we have in the last forty eight hours, we have actually had real journalists and the mainstream media actually put the hard questions to Democrats as to what's going on. Why? Because they see the writing on the wall that for all intents and purposes, the Democratic Party is imploding. How is it imploding? Uh, they have now taken on the mantle of socialism as an actual party platform. The United States of America is not a socialist country. Uh, we are based on uh, democracy, based on capitalism, uh, and we have a representative government. So we vote for people to represent us in the actual government. That's at a local, state, and federal level. We are the federation of states. The states are sovereign, and we have a federal government that uh, is supposed to be the referee between the states. Uh, we do not have a socialist uh, bone in our bodies. As much as people want to talk about how, how, how great it would be if we could all sit around holding hands saying kumbaya, we know that work has to be done, and the only incentive that a human has is to reward the human for a job well done. That means socialism will never take hold in this country. Do we have a police force? Yes. Do we have a fire department? Yes. Do we have state-run or city-run, uh, city-funded uh, medical uh, institutes? Yes, yes, we certainly do. But that's at a local level. It is not at a national level. What they're talking about has never been achieved in human history, not on any sort of uh, grand scale. Uh, so the, the party trying to promote socialism when we literally have a country uh, at our southern border uh, imploding from uh, adopting socialism for the past, what is it, 10, 10 to 15 years? I, I, I don't know the... I don't know the uh, time frame uh, that is literally imploding. And then the, the very same party talking about adopting socialism then takes on uh, the uh, uh, tries to take on the mantle of socialism and, uh, and say, uh, it, it, uh, th this time it'll work. It has never worked. It has always ended in tragedy. So here's Trump. Be sure to like the video. They've got the squad leading their party. They are a mess where even you take a look at Scribe and you take a look at so many of the people that were the most outspoken. And they say this was a devastating day for the Democrats. And you know it, John, and everybody else knows it. This was a devastating day for the Democrats. The Democrats had nothing. And now they have less than nothing. And I think they're going to lose the 2020 election very big, including congressional seats, because of the path that they chose. Now, who knows where it goes? I, I, from what I hear, they're giving up. But I, I just say, I know them too well. They'll never give up. They'll go back into the room and they'll try and figure something out. This whole thing has been, honestly, it's been collusion. It's been collusion with the media. It's been collusion with other countries. This has been a disaster for the Democrats, and I think we're going to win bigger than ever. I think Robert Mueller did a horrible job, both today 
and with respect to the investigation. But in all fairness to Robert Mueller, he had nothing to work with. You know, you can be a builder, but if they don't give you the right materials, you're not going to build a very good building. Robert Mueller had no material. He had nothing to work with. So obviously, he did very poorly today. I don't think there's anybody, even among the fakers, I don't think there's anybody that would say he did well. I looked at your people. They're saying it was devastating for the Democrats. And even, I will tell you, the two most nauseous and nauseating networks whose ratings have both gone down, way down, even they said this was a really bad day for the Democrats. So Robert Mueller did a poor job, but in all fairness to him, he had nothing to work with. Him. Well, Mueller had no material. Sure, Mueller had no material to work with, and he did a horrible job. Obviously, his presentation was way off, but that's okay. It didn't matter. He had no material. There was nothing done wrong. In fact, things were done right. There was nothing done wrong. And certainly, I mean, look, I read the papers, and I read the press, and I read the internet. And if you see what's going on the internet, if you listen to the internet, this was one of the worst performances in the history of our country. So you know that. You know that very well. But I don't think anybody could have done a good performance. He had no material. It was a fake set of facts that the Democrats used to add others to try and do really an illegal overthrow. But we're going to find out about that.